Hello guys, my name is Kamana Kane, and today I'm going to be giving you a book review on what was the first Thanksgiving. So I actually gave a book review about another book, I believe it was Magic Treehouse, Thanksgiving on Thursday, I think. I see it right now. Yeah, that's it. So it's much similar to this, and if you've seen that, you'd most likely understand what's going to be in this book. Same thing about the Pioneers, the Indians, the Thanksgiving. Well, that's what the holiday's called. And actually, one thing I learned in here, I never thought who declared it as a, a worldwide, well, not worldwide, national hol um, U.S. holiday. Um, President Abraham Lincoln did. So I also think that's interesting. And this is the first book in what was Amer um, what is America. And I've been saying it wrong for the past few videos. Um, it's not what was American history. That was the first one. And look, this is our finished box. Right there, let me see. And um, they have a poster inside. So once you finish reading all that, you can kind of get a treat. And it actually has a poster like who was Alfred Hitchcock, um, who was Andy Warhol, um, probably everybody on there who was Elton John, who was Bob Marley, and a lot of stuff like that. So, fun fact, there was actually no forks at the Feast, only spoons and uh, knives. And um, there was actually no cranberry or pumpkin pie ate for dessert or well, Thanksgiving there. So, it all started off when the pioneers who believed that they were in the name of God um, set sail. But they're actually trying to reach somewhere else instead of uh, Plymouth. So they, um, the current actually brought them to Plymouth because, you know, they didn't have um, any high technological um, tracking devices. But just like the Vikings use the stars, they tried to do it, but it didn't go that well. They weren't too good. And a fun fact is they actually didn't wear black hats, buckled um buckled whatever you call those probably didn't have buckled belts um black was actually a really hard dye to make then so their coats would probably um most likely be brown or um red some of them were even green and blue which are still hard dyes to make but they're the most common and most easiest dyes to make so they went there and they f um they realized that they were and where they weren't supposed to be. So they were thinking of doing it, but that's when the winter came. A bunch of people got sick, some people died. Um, when they were uh, sleeping on the floor, it was really, really uncomfortable. Some of them had to sleep in hammocks, but um, not a lot of them actually slept in beds. Um, most of them slept in hammocks and floors and what I just covered. So they did a lot of stuff, so they realized that they couldn't go um, to where they were trying to go. Um, because it'd be 220 miles, I guess. Um, I think so. It says it in the book. But there was a lot of stuff. And since this is an American history book, well, America book. Not really, but it's like about American history, not that set somewhere in my pile of books. But um, it was actually, yeah. So I think this is a really good uh, thing. And it says it in here, but... Uh, um, again, yep, yeah, they did a lot of stuff like that. Um, there wasn't a lot to cover about it. Most of it was just easing. Um, so when they, oh, there's an airplane. I'm going to start talking louder. So when they arrived there, the Native Americans actually thought that they were enemies. But no one actually knows um, if the pioneers invited them to the Thanksgiving Um well, if they're actually shooting their muskets and they actually tried to kill them, but luckily during the um, Native American and pioneer fights, luckily no one was injured. So after a while, they started building their houses and they saw, and the Native Americans saw that they actually had some good materials. So they started trading and soon enough, the, um, the chief or the pioneers, like still nobody knows because there weren't that many records kept in the 1600s. And plus, who would keep records of um, the Mayflower sailing to an, uh, a place on Earth and um, not knowing if that's just going to be turned into a U.S. national holiday? Like, exactly so. Um, 
Native American guests brought the tur brought the turkey in exchange. They got them tools, arrows, and what they needed to live. And that's when the first Thanksgiving came. They um, some people wanted to change it to the third Thursday of November, but it's always been the fourth um, fourth Thursday in November. And Abraham Lincoln made sure. Oh, there's an Amazon truck in the front. But they did um some stuff like that. So they actually did a lot of things. They ate turkey, corn, um, fish, and there's actually something inside of Okay, yeah, right here. So they ate corn, pumpkin, squash, peas, and beans. They also might have um a walnuts, cheese, chest, chestnuts, plums, quail, pigeons, or partridges, and possibly seed food, including bass and cod. There was no cranberry sauce or pumpkin pie. They probably ate berries for dessert, and maybe they drank beer made from barley. Um, barley, however you say it. Um, back then, people were afraid of drinking water because they didn't have any water systems in the cities. So usually, water was really dirty. So that's why they drank beer. And it was actually really poorly made back then. So um, then May the Mayflower was not the first ship to arrive there. Some of them got destroyed in storms. And um, the reason why my door keeps on creaking is because of all of the wind passing through it, um, the wind hitting it. So um, they did another ship arrive, Anne, the Anne and the little James, I think. And then a bunch of other arrived, one with around a thousand pilgrims. Well, not a thousand pilgrims on one, but it was broken to 17 ships. And, well, you know, if there's more people, you're going to have to have more food, more houses. And they actually had a plan for what they were going to build in their city in Plymouth. And, yeah, so it keeps on going until the Native Americans destroyed their deal. And, yeah, so it was this Thanksgiving. They kept on celebrating it today. Most, um, some people didn't want it to be a holiday. Some people wanted it to be a holiday. Um, there's this girl, which they mentioned in the end. Um, but she kept on, uh, asking the U.S. president to make, uh, Thanksgiving a U.S. holiday. So in 1837, Hale was the editor of a popular magazine for women called Gaudy's Lady Book. And Hale even wrote to the President of the United States, Zachary Taylor, she asked for a national Thanksgiving holiday, but he didn't do anything. So Sarah Hale was her name. She wanted to make it a national holiday. And if you're living here, I mean, if you're living in the U.S., you know it's a national holiday. Maybe you don't celebrate it, but it's... It's actually a fun holiday. Like, you get to eat a lot, you get to stuff yourself with it, you get to play games. And I think it's just a night. I really like the Thanksgiving thing. Um, like, the Thanksgiving vibe. Um, or they used a word in there, I forgot. But it was kind of like theme, vibe, whatever. But yeah, so they did a lot of stuff. They did stuff like that. So they kept on eating, did a lot of stuff and just you get you get the point so actually if you go to um plymouth plantation it is an outdoor living history museum that recreates the pilgrim's village looks like plymouth probably did in 8 1627 that's seven years after the pilgrims arrived there on the mayflower you can walk through the village the houses beds furniture gardens animals and food you'll see are we are all alike what the pilgrims had it it's a it's as if you have traveled back in time. We um they know a lot about how the pilgrims lived, but if you ask them anything about modern anything modern like computers or TV, they will pretend they don't know what you're talking about. So I thought I'd include that, but there's actually some pictures, but it's pretty boring. It's obviously drawn not uh real pictures but there's some real pictures i believe these two are the only two so well, only only eight so right there and right and i think i was mistaken because i see um one more right there all right 
So that was my book review on what was the first Thanksgiving. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And Shaka out of here.